Hey guys, it's Derek Coleman at Future Pediatrics. I'm one of the physician assistants and we are going to be discussing the topic of abdominal pain. Abdominal pain can be a scary and frightening symptom if your child does have it. This video has hopefully helped you realize when you need to take your child to the emergency room, come to the clinic, or wait a few weeks prior to bringing them in. Abdominal pain can be categorized as mild, which it does not affect their daily lives, moderate, where it does affect their daily lives but they are able to continue, or severe, they are unable to complete their daily lives. If there is vomiting with blood, if there is persistent vomiting, if there is pain that is causing them to not be able to walk, if there is pain that is causing them to hunch over in pain, if there is pain that is intensified with jumping, if there is diarrhea with blood in the stool, if the child appears or looks ill or toxic, and if you are very concerned that your child is just not acting their normal selves. These can be different symptoms such as appendicitis, intussusception, or other things like a perforated bowel. These symptoms can include fever, vomiting or diarrhea without blood in it, vomiting that contains bile, which is a green color, burning with going to the restroom, sore throat, burning sensation that is in the stomach that leads to the chest, or if symptoms lead or last longer than two hours. These could be common conditions such as an obstruction, gastroenteritis, gastritis, urinary tract infections, or strep throat. Lastly, if the patient does not meet any of the previous symptoms stated to go to the emergency room or come to the office, we ask that you wait for at least two weeks prior to bringing them in. These symptoms could be abdominal pain that are related to stress, anxiety, gassiness, bloating, or if there is a family history of GI conditions. If you do not know where to take your child and you need questions further answered, you can either call our office or call the on-call nurse.